Let me ask you about uh, the, the Texas House now. Uh, Mr. Solomons, you, you got into a little bit with me this question of whether 101 safe seats exist on a map that you could draw and put forward and get passed. Can you elaborate a little bit more on that? In a vacuum, you can draw almost anything you want. I understand that. But realistically, are, is there a map that would pass muster that has 101 safe Republican seats? I, I think it would be hard, very difficult to do that. What, what, what's, what's a more uh, logical or likely number? 90? 95? Could you get to 95? Could you do 90? I'm not sure yet. We don't have the pieces of the puzzle put together yet. Right. And uh, at the end of the day, I think the map will be fair, legal, and reflective of the House as much as it can be. Yeah. You know, I need to do that, in essence, to pass a map, and I want to make sure my, my role is to ensure that the districts themselves mm -hmm. make sense in the puzzle, that what I, I, they, they, they do what needs to be done to ensure legality, when you look at the voting patterns and you look at everything that's happened in the state, you're obviously going to have a, a relatively strong map uh, reflective of the House. But whether you, I, but I, I think all the members sort of understand that. Believe it or not, the private conversations, they all understand that you know, you're trying to have, a, 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 I'm trying to have a fair and legal map. The committee wants to pass out of, out of the committee a fair and legal map. Right. And it's really hard to get to with a, a, a pure 101 seats. It's just very difficult. To do. So assuming it's not going to be 101, some of the people who were elected this last November, in theory, are leaving the car running at the curb until the next election, right? I mean, they know that they're not here for, for, for beyond the session. And I want to ask you specifically, and I'm not sure you're going to tell me, but let me ask, <laughs> who's in trouble? <laughs> Well, you know, I just keep telling members, uh, I, you know, and seriously, uh, I, I keep telling the members who, you know, you have to understand, a large portion of the House has never been through a redistricting session drawing their, looking at their own districts Correct. like that. So I keep telling them to uh, 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 plan for the worst and hope for the best. But, but, uh, but let me ask you again specifically, are there specific <laughs> members? I mean, I want to ask you about, let me go, let me get down into the weeds with you here. Dallas County, we talked about Dallas County. So everybody in Dallas County except for Helen Giddings lost population. It has assumed by all of us out here, us geniuses out here in the world, that two members from Dallas County are going away. Is that true? I'm not quite sure yet. Don't know? How, I'm pretty sure one's going to go away. I'm not sure about the second one yet. Why is that? Because I'm trying to help the members and they're trying to work together and figure out a way they can get around that. Right, but, but I don't know that it'll come out that way, but at the end of the day, I, yeah. I'm not here to... Uh, uh, foresee what will be finally put in the map at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm getting close, but I'm right. not there yet. Given the dramatic population decline, though, over the last, and I would say somewhat unexpected until the census numbers came out in Dallas County, we don't think we realized exactly what the uh, population decline was, you could potentially justify a map that doesn't lose two, but just loses one in Dallas County. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to see what is will work as a legal map. Right. Uh, if I were a non-minority freshman member in Dallas County, would I be nervous particularly? Probably. So if, I, if my last name were Sheets or Anderson or Burkett, I might not be, I might not be totally comfortable with my future professional situation? Uh, I, it's the third I, softball in a row. Really? I mean, really. <laughs> Wait, I haven't asked you about Wendy Davis. Just sit tight. Yeah. Go uh, ahead. Yeah. Well, I, I think they're... I'm not going to let I, that one go. go I ahead. think they're realists, and I think they're planning for the worst and hoping for the best. Okay, what about out in West Texas? Again, there's a case where I think Ross told me there's something like 18 seats, but there are only 16 districts worth of population. Right. And uh, Mr. Chisholm is going to do you a favor by making one of those seats go away, but if I were Mr. Landtroop, would I be too comfortable in my job right now? Um, I think that he is planning for the worst and hoping for the best. It, it has been described to me by somebody who knows this much better than I do that that district was originally drawn to, quote, screw Pete Laney. So the fact that Mr. Landtroop is in a district that was designed not to necessarily be a long-term deal, I'm, that might make me a little nervous. Well, I think all the members, and even the freshman members, even though they haven't been through it, are pretty realistic as to, as to what's going on. I mean, right. and, and they are actually trying to work within their own delegations. West Texas is actually, you know, I sort of asked the West Texas guys to get together and see what they could come up with, but I've right. still got to make sure that it works uh, for the numbers because West Texas is just not, as much as some folks might think, is not isolated. Right. As, as, you, as you come from west to east. Yeah, everything is related. I mean, yeah. I mean we, we've had suggestions on maps that don't pair anybody from west Texas, but it, it messes up the entire state. Right. Right. Well, in fact, I understand Speaker Craddock has told people quietly that he thinks there's a map out there that would have 17 <laughs> seats and not 16, and so the Chisholm goes away, everybody else is okay. Have well, you heard that, that? Sure. Yeah. In fact, I asked... Uh, uh, Dean Craddock to, for his suggestions. 
Yeah. Along with everybody else. Along same, with everybody same, same deal. No, not just for Mr. Craddock's district, but for what did he what right. does he think? He's been through this since nineteen seventy one and longer than anybody and, else. Yeah, right? and he's and he's and he's filed lawsuits. He he pretty well knows, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I still have to make it work not just for that area. Right. I have to make everything pushes eastward and south and even up to the northeast. I right. mean, as you move closer and closer to the thirty five, it affects a lot of different uh, districts. And so you I'm looking at how many people I can make happy that I think are are, are, are you know, looking at their districts and what counties they want. And I have to I have to adjust for that. Uh, one last question on the House, and that is in Travis County, where the population of Travis County breaks down ideologically about 60-40, uh, uh, recent votes maybe a little bit more on the upside, a little bit uh, on the downside, only one of six of the legislative seats right now is Republican held. Is one thing in, uh, that you're keeping in mind as you look at, uh, say, a Travis County that maybe it ought to be more like 4-2 based on the way that the breakdown of the votes have been, so possibly you've got to look at making one of those districts a little bit more Republican friendly? I've asked to drop in counties, and for those who don't know, we have a county line where, you know, right. when the deviations work where you have to stay within the county lines, I've asked those delegations to produce what they think is an agreement for the most part, right. and then let me check it and see if it works. But not necessarily based on recent vote totals that would mirror well, whatever want, the composition I want to see what for. they bring right. because I, have, and I am trying to make it more of a member-driven map in, right. the, in the sense of, of what do you really want? Uh, yes, I know I might have to be a uh, good guy or bad guy on some decisions, but I need to. I, I really did want that input. 